Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another recap video with your boy Stevo. Um, today I'm gonna be going over my trade on SIDU. Uh, this one I ended up trading on Tuesday, June 21st. Monday market was closed, so I trade this one Tuesday, and then Rev was on Wednesday. That's a, so that will be in a different video. So be make make sure to be on the lookout for that one. Um, C do I recall trading this one um, only because okay so I I attempted to long it but it didn't really have the pre mark or it didn't really have the volume that I was looking for on it for it to make. A decent move to the upside uh, over that pre-market high at 724 that was kind of my plan there um, so as you can see you had your 630s pre-market support uh, 630 lows 660s support right here 680s resistance also became support and then you got your resistance at 724 um, so as you can see here my, my plan was basically I think I was looking for um, I was looking for a break under 662 right here I was looking for the support to break and then for it to hold over the 634 the potential move back over 690 and then 724 which was close to getting there but um it kind of failed so as you can see here i was kind of adding into this seven area because this seemed to be a support but then once that broke you know and then it made a new lower low I basically cut it here because at that point my thesis became invalid if it was gonna squeeze it should have squeezed here or just here in this consolidation but it didn't so um, you know so pretty pretty simple on this one I just built my position but I kept my uh, I kept my stop tight because well one we didn't have that much range so I just had to keep it within that range area and two it just you know the, the volume like you see this candle right here these were all like two three hundred four hundred thousand dollar I mean three two three four hundred thousand shares traded Per each minute in volume bars so it's like that's not that much for it to squeeze like how we expect these SSR stocks to squeeze um, therefore thesis thesis could become invalid and it was day two so I was like maybe day one it ran up a lot a good amount actually day two SSR I'm starting to think maybe mm, because I think I've seen day three and day four SSR stocks. Sometimes they don't always continue because, you know, either the overall market sentiment is like not feeling like bullish that day or just the volume's not there to make it move the way we expect it to move. Um, so. So yeah, you know, this, this, is, this is just one example of, you know, the SSR that doesn't work. And you can see why. Um, but, you know, it's, it's alright. Like, you know, I stick to my plan, manage my risk. Um, you know, no biggie. On to the next one here. Um, no need to let it, you know, get to your head or affect the way I trade the next day. It's, it's just knowing, alright, follow my plan, stick to my risk, let it go. Yeah, you know, it sounds simple, but it's, it's harder to do. But it's easier 
to do over time as you experience it more so uh, so yeah just keep that in mind you know don't ever let these uh, losses get to you just kind of figure out why you did it why it didn't work and then next time adjust your rules or criteria to these kind of things and and everything should be good for the next trade um, so as long as you learn that that that's all that, that's all that should matter um, but yeah that's pretty much it on CDU. Uh, if you guys have any questions comment down below like the video if you haven't already um, subscribe to the channel help out your boy here just trying to you know share my journey with everybody else so I think if anybody else can learn from what I'm learning and you know teaching or whatever then hopefully someone else can gain something out of this so that's that's all that's my whole goal here is just for you guys to kind of learn through what I'm going through and then you know you guys are not alone everybody's everybody goes through the same things so it's like it's kind of cool to just hear someone else's perspective from you know my point of view I don't really see anybody else do much of these but I'm just going to continue doing them and then see kind of where it goes from there hopefully I could even go back and look at these myself um, but yeah that's pretty much it guys I'll see you guys on the next video stay safe out there and um, have a good one peace